and welcome to Tail Inferno. My name is Charlotte and here we are in the first ever monthly wrap up. We have had weekly wrap ups before as I'm sure all of you know from actually looking at the blog or following the blog there has been quite a few uh, weekly wrap ups. Uh, the, the decision was as you would have read in the weekly update that uh, announced it and the social media that I posted out about it. I decided not to post weekly wrap ups anymore because the updates and the wrap ups were getting way too similar, too many rep too much repetition of everything. Um, and I thought, you know, what would be fun actually making it a monthly wrap up because then we can kind of go through everything that's happened and kind of have a bit of fun with it, I suppose. And it kind of takes us on a trip down memory lane for the month, which I think is pretty cool. Um, so yeah, let's just see how it goes and we'll take it from there. First thing to mention is the books that were read this month. So I thought, you know, this is a book blog. This is a book website. Well, not, it's not going to be just a book website very soon, as you would remember in the announcement that I made in the blog, which I'll talk about later. But hey, guess what? Spoiler alert for later in the, uh, this w monthly wrap up. Uh, I did a vlog recently. Ha ah, yeah, that's why I'm, you know, that's why I'm here. But yeah, it's not just going to be a book blog anymore or a book website anymore. There's going to be more. I should say it's a storytelling website, a storytelling. That's the whole idea. I want to be emphasizing the storytelling aspect of it because it's not just about books and writing. It's about storytelling. Yeah, cool. Got it, kids? We understand? Let's go. So yeah, the books that were read this month uh, we had three, which sounds really low for a month, and I must admit, it, I actually kind of feel disappointed in myself that it was only three books. But then I also think, in combination with working and studying full time and having heaps of journal articles to read, assignments to write, textbooks to read, and everything else in between, you don't necessarily get a lot of time to do a lot of free reading. Um, where I, well, I should say leisurely reading, but I suppose all in all, I have done a lot of reading, just not of all the books that I would have liked to have read. But you know, as we get closer to the end of the year and I get closer to finishing uni and I get more time to read, then you know, it will up the pace and soon we'll have books like flying out of our ears. It'll be crazy. But yeah, until then, slow but steady. We're enjoying the stories. <laughs> the first book that I, I think I started reading in August, I can't remember when I started reading it, but yeah, the first book that I finished in August was This Side of Paradise by F. Scott Fitzgerald. You know, this was actually a really lovely book to read and I won't say too much about it because that's what the review's for, but as you probably would have guessed, I did really enjoy this book. Um, it's really hard for me to find a book that I don't enjoy reading. Um, so, you know, if you think there's a book out there that you think I won't enjoy reading and you think and you want to challenge me in that, then send it my way. I'll see. I'll see whether or not I like the story or not. Anyway, that's another whole thing. This Side of Paradise. Yes, got through it. Beautiful language. And it's, you know, the book that I've got here also includes The Beautiful and Damned by F. Scott Fitzgerald, which I will eventually read as well. But yeah, I got through This Side of Paradise and yeah, really, really enjoyed it. Mm -hmm. The second book that I got through this month um, was the inspiring and motivational The Alchemist. Ha ha. As you probably would have guessed from the social media posts and everything else in between about it, I did really enjoy this book. It is exactly what I said. Inspirational, motivational, everything else in between. It's become one of those books where, you know, you, you hear a lot about it. I mean, I got when it was recommended to me, I thought, oh, you know, it's... It's going to be cliched, you know, everybody talks about it so much about, you know, oh, it's so inspiring. But, you know, I, I, I couldn't believe how inspiring it was. And even though it's a creative piece, it just seems, I'm going too much into it. This is not a review. Yeah, I finished it. <laughs> I finished this book. And as you can tell, I'm going to have a fun time reviewing it. How exciting. A little insight into what it's going to sound like. And the third book that I got through and I did only just recently finish it because in the weekly update, I said that I was still reading it, which was true. And that is ba -ba -ba, The Writer by Tim Crabb. I think it's Crabb. It's got, it's got an accent on the E and I don't know how to pronounce accents because I'm uncultured and 
ignorant in accents on letters, um, which is bad because, you know, I, I do learn a lot about language, in, particularly in the linguistics side of things, so I should probably know. If it's crab, fantastic, I did, I did a good job and cool, but um, good old Timmy boy out there. Uh, if I've pronounced your name wrong, I apologize. <laughs> and yeah, I, it just kind of shows um, the amount of knowledge I have in the cycling area of life, um, since I don't know his name. Um, and I probably couldn't pronounce half of the cyclist names in this book. But yeah, it, it was definitely an interesting book and I won't go too much into it. I'm excited to review it. It's definitely, it's definitely a book for riders, let's just put it that way. It's definitely a book for people who enjoy cycling. So that's it. Yeah, cool. Of all those three books put together, we got through 538 pages. Mm -hmm. Don't worry about me looking over there. There's not a calculator over there. Don't worry about it. There's not a calculator. I didn't, I... That's just pure maths in my head. I looked at looked at the books, all the pages, and I, I just knew. I just knew. No calculator. Don't worry about it. But yeah, 538 pages we got through. Again, it doesn't sound like a lot, and as you probably could see, they're not exactly the thickest books. Um, I don't have to justify myself, I know that. But again, it, there's that part of me that kind of feels a bit disappointed that I only got through that many books this month. Um, but it's just, it's just part, it's part of the deal and I can't wait until I get to finish uni and I get to read more, um, and pick up the pace and as I said we'll have books flying out of our ears. Speaking of the books that we've read, how about the books that we've reviewed this month? Now this month there were three reviews that came out, so we're really going into the trifecta here of three and three. So of the three, it's all been just the Tomorrow series, as, as you would have seen. So. In between the big gap in between the last time that I posted and when, you know, when I started posting again, um, I had just finished, I had just reviewed The Third Day of the Frost by John Marsden. Now, from that, the three that I did review were Darkness Be My Friend, uh, Burning for Revenge, and The Night is for Hunting. I must admit, for a real, like a long series, I sometimes find when I get told of a series and it is seven books or longer, I think, how can you keep original, it's like, like a series so original, like have books that are, have storylines that are original. And I have to admit that I'm actually being quite impressed by this series, particularly since it is a war related series for young adults. I just thought, oh, it's just going to be booms and pew pews and all that kind of stuff over and over again but it's not and it's really interesting to it's just been a really interesting series to read and from the reviews you can probably understand what I'm talking about I mean like there's one whole book that kind of just focuses on failure and recovery and I think it's particularly mental recovery and I think it's a really important thing to talk about particularly with um just life in general you don't have to face a war um to need to recover from something mentally so yeah, no, I've really enjoyed those aspects. I mean, don't get me wrong, I do get irked, and I do mention this sometimes in the reviews, I do get a little bit irked by the luck that these teenagers have. But, you know, it's all part of the story, and it still is adrenaline pumping and engaging to watch. So, oh, engaging to watch? Engaging to read. Oh dear. <laughs> so yeah, so those were the, the three reviews. Going into the three, well, there were two blogs and one vlog. So there was technically three, like, blog, vlog, blog, vlog posts. <laughs> there were three of them. So really the trifecta, three, 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 nicely done. Woo. The two blog posts that were written uh, were installments to the what is a dot, dot, dot series. Uh, as you would have guessed and seen, you probably didn't guess, you have seen the posts, they are related to punctuation marks. Now, there are plenty of blogs out there with tutorials and whatnot, educational pieces on how to use punctuation marks correctly. And I understand that. I am just one little fish in a very big pond of punctuation mark tutorials. Um, but for a blog that's all about storytelling, being able to understand the concepts and how to use punctuation mark is punctuation marks is important and so for since it is a storytelling website might as well tell you how to use it so like how to do it effectively by using punctuation marks so yeah the first punctuation mark that we covered was the comma 
uh, which I didn't go into every single rule, but I focused on the ones that irk me the most. Now, I understand that sometimes when I use commas, I don't use them appropriately sometimes. Sometimes when I'm typing up something really fast, I'll put a comma in somewhere because, I don't know, in my brain I thought that was a good time to put in a comma. Nobody's perfect, so I understand that maybe sometimes I get it wrong, but referring to the style manual that I did, those were the ones that I have always been irked if people use them incorrectly. And there are many other rules as well that are that I haven't listed on there. So don't take that as the be all end all for all comma use. You can go out there and investigate it yourself. Um, but if you're wondering which ones are the ones that irk me the most, you can click on the links in the description. The second post was what is a apot mm. What I should have said is what is an apostrophe? Aha, grammar. But yes. The second one was, what is an apostrophe? What is an apostrophe? Which is something that you don't want to get mixed up with a quotation mark, which is a whole other ball game, and we'll cover that eventually on the on the blog. Yeah, the apostrophe. So I did cover the rules that are, all the rules that are listed in the style manual that I refer to. If you're wondering what that is, it's the Australian style manual for writers, publishers, and editors. I think it is. I should probably know. It's not, it's not in here. It's somewhere not here. And I don't know why. I can't even think of where I've put it. I hope I haven't lost it. <laughs> but yeah, so it's the, it's the Australian style manual that gets referred to a lot here in Australia if you are an editor. But yeah, that's where I get all my information from. And for the apostrophe post, I did list all of them. I was supposed to post what is a semicolon as well this month. Unfortunately, due to internet struggles, uni studies, and everything else that could have ever happened, I just didn't get around to doing it. That's a fault on my behalf, and I apologize for that. Uh, but you will see it soon. I promise I will get that out in the next week. So keep an eye out for that. And I will also make sure that when I post that, I post the review for the other side of dawn that same week because it seems unfair that i would push it out because of that but we'll see what happens again i made those promises and then the internet says nope and yeah and then we're, then we're here again and of course there was the vlog that came out which was just announcing that vlogs were coming back and also had the vlog announcement that we were going to be doing vlogs every friday as much as like as i would like to try and vlog every friday as i can as as often as i can we'll see um, and those vlogs will include linguistic theories and literary theories and literary criticism and all sorts of interesting storytelling things. But there's also going to be some video game reviews. Yay! They're going to really look into, into depth the stories of video games. So we're not talking about first person shooter multiplayer games. We're talking about games that sink their teeth into you with their story. Like they're so story dependent. And I'm super excited about jumping in because there are some really awesome storytelling techniques in video games. And so, because they're so immersive and engaging, I just, oh, I just like it. I love it so much. I think it is a fantastic platform for storytelling. And I really think that video games are going in the direction of being very storytelling oriented. So I'm really excited about jumping into that and I hope you guys are too. Um, I've also, as another announcement, while we're at the end of this monthly wrap up, for vlogs, I was thinking, and you guys can let me know what you think of this idea, of doing some recordings of reading choose your own adventure books. I think that'd be pretty cool. Uh, where you kind of see me make some really bad decisions when reading books. I've got a few here at home and I'm thinking of just buying up a whole bunch of them um because i know that there are a lot out there but i think it could be a lot of fun so let me know what you think of that idea because then we can kind of go on an adventure together you guys can tell me how wrong i am in making the decisions that i make and then i can tell you what i think of the story it could literally be a three-page story i remember once reading a choose your own adventure story and i think i only got three pages in because i just made a decision and boom the story was done that's my fault so may, hope, hopefully we'll be able to have long stories and sometimes we'll have short ones. It'll be fun and I hope you're excited for it. Anyway, we have been going on for a very long time. Monthly wrap ups probably will be quite long because of that and because I just blubber on about whatever the hell comes into my head. So, you know, here we are. So I hope, you know, have fun watching this and have enjoyed listening to me just 
go on and on and on and on and on. If you're interested in reading any of the posts or reviews or whatever it is that I've mentioned in this, of all the things that I've mentioned in this, uh, I've got all the links in the description for you to click onto. So if you were sitting there and thinking, oh, I forgot that she put that review up in August, or that's right, she did do that and I was gonna read it, but I, I forgot to do it and I just, I need to read it. Like, I'm just, I need to read it. You can find all the links that I have met of the posts in the, in the description. Thank you so much for watching this very long monthly wrap up. I'm really excited about doing these and maybe I'll make it that each monthly wrap up is a video, but we'll see. Depends on how, how much you like them being this length. Maybe I can do my best in being concise in my blabbering, we'll see. Anyway, remember to ignite the story and I'll see you again soon. Bye.